Beautiful turkeys arrived in Virginia yesterday. One man could pardon them. And he did. Yeah, he did. Also, coming to a theater near you. Yeah, I was trying to make that a little more dramatic. <laughs> <laughs> it works, Chase. And it does deserve the drama because these two birds were pardoned by President Trump earlier this week. You may remember my least favorite side dishes, peas and carrots. What? These dude, two jive timers avoided becoming the main course. <laughs> now, both were raised at a farm in South Dakota, and the duo will actually live their final days in Virginia at Gobbler's Rest. Wow, that sounds like a good good home for a turkey yeah, like that. Yeah, it sounds like a turkey retirement home. Yeah, it sounds awesome. <laughs> I love it. Well, they'll be cared for by veterinarians and students from Virginia Tech's Department of Animal and Poultry Sciences. Ah. So they'll be in good hands. Yeah, of course. And this is the third year in a row that pardoned turkeys have been sent to Gobbler's Rest. Now, if you want to pay peas and carrots a visit, they're live and on display today to the public. I wonder what it takes. I wonder what it takes to be one of the turkeys, one of the lucky few to get pardoned by the president himself. Amazing. Pretty cool. They look pretty happy, too. Pretty cool. Well, speaking of animals, the London Zoo is getting in the Christmas spirit. As thousands of zoo animals settle down for the night, the park comes alive with twinkling lights. How you like those rhymes? Bright sculptures <laughs> of lions, tigers, and bears, oh my, light up the pathways. And they give visitors a different kind of zoo experience. Not quite wild life, more like light life. Yeah. Ooh, there's giraffes in the back. Look at the girfs. Chase. A couple of giraffes. Of course I would catch that. Yeah. Uh, well, that, that is looks pretty neat so looking. gorgeous, though. I, I gotta say, I'm a big fan of these light shows lately. Oh, yeah. Light technology is coming a long way. It's coming it a long really way. It really is. Well, from the UK to California, <laughs> in a place known for horse races, Helen Woodward Animal Shelter hosted a puppy race oh, in Del Mar, wow. California. Oh, my heart. Oh, I can't man. handle it. Well, it's this melting. Thanksgiving, these canine competitors made it out of the gate, but we're not sure where to go. There's a little confusion. No, going they're just on. having fun playing. It's it's who can play the most, right? Or, That's okay. or who can be the cuddliest, or, or or maybe it's who can stand there. Yeah. They can't stand still, though. They're having too much fun. They are well, cute. with a little bit of encouragement, some sniffed their way to the finish line. <laughs> and of course, the crowd goes wild and grabs a puppy Woo! in the process. Look at how Yay. cute. Okay, well, there were no losers in this race, Chase, no, because clearly. at the end of the race, all the puppies that participated were set up for adoption. Look how cute they are. Uh, yeah, I don't know, puppies. How do you choose? Puppies are cute kryptonite, I think, for everybody. They really are. They're little eyebrows. Yeah, it's the, you're yeah, right, though. It's the eyebrows. eyebrows. Yeah. Well, the Leaning Tower of Pisa defying its name, the Tuscany landmark is leaning about two inches less. After more than 20 years of construction efforts to straighten the 12th century structure, Wait. the operation, even closing the tower to tourists for nearly a decade, what? Why? But it's, it's supposed leaning. to be leaning. Oh, well, I guess they got to call it the straight up and down Tower of Pisa from now on. <laughs> uh, engineers are optimistic about the tilted building's progress, saying the popular attraction will likely stay standing for centuries. I, was it in danger of toppling over? I thought it had it settled there. It might have there. been. I thought it settled there. Yeah. Oh, leaning well, Tower of Pisa, more like straight, straight up. up and down Tower of Cheesa. Hey, yo. <laughs> well, hey, at least it won't topple over on anyone. Hopefully. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Fingers crossed. Well, coming up. I'll be quizzing Chase on the hot topic of Black Friday and Cyber Monday. Stay tuned to see Stump Chase and find out how he does. I got this one. I got this one.